welcome to drop in. Come and dance on our floor. Take a step that is new. I'm your host, Chadwick. <laughs> Let's give it up. She looks like them weeds. Drop it in. Who's dropping in today? It's a doobie! Nice to meet oh, you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Is it Mr. Man? Is it <laughs> Orange? You can call me whatever you like. <clears throat> How about? <laughs> is it hot in here or is it just me? It's you. <laughs> Thank you. of the ancient order of the nobles of skate and design. A skate shop for the skate rat. And an art supply for the artist and all of us. Come on through and take a look at our wide selection. Also featuring femme, grom, and thrift sections. There's sure to be something for everyone. We even have roller skates. Oh, did we forget to mention we have a skate park? Wow! Open 11 to 7 every day, but closed Mondays because fuck Mondays. So come on down. We got the deals that'll make your head explode. Zembo Temple of State Designs located just off the brick stop of the L at 2011 Amber Street, Philadelphia, PA. Or visit us online at ZemboTemple.com. I'm Roman Pavich and you're watching Dropping In. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <You're in. laughs> Welcome back. Here is your guest. Orange Man, Abe Dubin. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you. So good to have you here. It's nice to be here. Yeah. Orange, tell me, how'd you get into skateboarding? I would say Bart Simpson. Eat my short. <laughs> Indeed. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, well, either him or the Ninja Turtles. You know, you grow up being raised by TV. And then you you eventually switch to the real world and you, you emulate TV. Yeah. Actually, I wore a Ninja Turtles co a homemade Ninja Turtles costume for many of my formative years. Which one? Well, uh, come on, Michelangelo, of course. I actually I'm a, I'm more of a Leonardo fan. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. Blue. Two swords, blue complement of orange. That it is. I don't know. I was bad at other sports. So you're an active youth. Uh, not really until skateboarding, really. really. I like to like play Legos, nice. draw pictures. I was in, you know, youth improv and theater. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, about a half an hour south, near Cape Cod, near Plymouth. Plymouth. Is that the rock that the landed rock. on us? That's the one. <laughs> it's cartoon time!
Welcome back. We hear a sweaty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's better. Orange Dubin, tell us, what do you do for fun? You're looking at it. Orangey, what's your favorite spot in Philadelphia? Uh, R.I.P. Love Park, of course. But you know, every time I come come by, I'm like, cellar door, cellar door. They're everywhere. Don't they have Since... cellar doors in Boston? Not as many, really. Yeah, here is like, there's such a surplus. It's like kind of unique to the city. And actually in Massachusetts, we call bulkheads. Bulkheads? Which is also a little different. <laughs> With Team Roger, Gary. Hey everybody, it's Gary. I'm gonna show you how to do a gap to lip uh, off the mini ramp. Yeah, basically like just, you gotta get good speed and then you just kind of like throw yourself at it a bunch of times until you start to feel the control. And once you feel it, you just like put it down and ride it out and feel the victory. Can you ollie? Wow. Kind of a sensitive subject, honestly. Yeah, uh, I kind of max out at like a three stack kind of thing. I haven't tried in a while because, you know, why bother? But I've been known to wally probably higher stuff. And in my opinion, it's a more valuable and interesting trick. It's not even a trick transcends tricks. It's how you get and interact with your scenario. And Ollie is kind of like, look at me, look how strong I am. The Wally is kind of like, look at me engaged with my environment. We're one. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. That was beautiful, man. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> With Steph. Today, we're going to talk about skate park etiquette. In skateboarding, there are no rules. But when you're at a skate park, there are a few things you should keep in mind. So come on, let's go. Here we are at our local, so let's get to it. <laughs> When you're at the park, you don't have to skate the whole time. Let other people have a turn, take a break, and then skate some more. When you put your tail up, be ready to drop in within a few seconds. Don't just stand there, you'll be in the way. Speaking of being in the way, if you come to the skate park, you should be skating at some point. It's not a playground or a lounge to just sit around on. When skating, you're not the only one in the park. Pay attention to your surroundings and be mindful of others. Also, don't leave your trash around and spill your drinks. If you make a mess, clean it up. Also, don't want up someone. That means doing the same trick that someone else is trying. As for wax, don't wax an obstacle if you're not doing anything on it. And most importantly, don't be a snake. And remember the golden rule, have fun. Don't be so serious. Hey, I'm Tony Trujillo, and I forgot what I was supposed to say. Take two. <laughs> this is Tony Trujillo, Dude, and you're watching Dropping In. Welcome back. Here is our guest, 
the orange man, Abe Dubin. <laughs> Abe, did you ever kickflip in KB Toys? Never. I've actually never done a kickflip in my life. <gasps> is this true? This is true. Skating is about individuality. It's kind of about the notes you don't play. Let me level with you. I've invented a lot of tricks. Like what? Name one. I can't tell you right now, but they're, <laughs> they're archived. Oh. It's like when someone yelled from their car, hey, don't look kickflip. And then I look at them and I say, I can't even, even if I wanted to appease you, I can't. <laughs> I, I Look, you'd have to convince me that it's worth learning. That's where, that's the beauty of skating is like, you believe in it. I don't believe in the kickflip. You don't? I don't. What it's if, been done a million what, what times. If, what if you're on your deathbed and you're like, oh, I never kickflipped. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be regretting that. Yeah. That's the thing is like skating is all about like, be yourself. And then it's like, no, be like me. <laughs> Pass the litmus test. We'll be right back! Here we have the cat doing a caveman get jet backside yanking to curse black. Welcome back. Here is our guest, Orange Abe. Abe, the origin of orange. Here's the thing. I could tell you the origin story, but you'd never believe it. You're going to have to wait till the documentary comes out. Plug for the documentary. Forthcoming. Why orange? Why not orange, you know? See, this is exactly it. You're thought provoked. I'm doing my thing. You don't, you don't kickflip. It's all, it's like skating and all this, it's a dialogue. It's a dialogue, it's like, why, why? Maybe I don't need to know. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is also Ignorance. not good. Yeah, but it's good, it's, it's like, if only you could unknow stuff. That's what I want. Uh -oh. If tell us how many boards were sacrificed in your Here art. We go. It's funny that the term sacrifice because a lot of the boards I'm using, they're trash. They've been sacrificed by somebody else who no longer wants them. So you guys see like Toy Story 3, you know? These boards are going in the compactor and I'm all like, no, no, there's still hope for you. Then people are like, you're wasteful. You're breaking all these boards. I say, I'm giving them new life. <sighs> Banana. Orange. Banana. Banana. Banana? Banana. Tag us and be in the next episode. Hashtag Zembo Show. Welcome back. Here is our guest, Abe Dubin. Abe, before we sign off, 
Do you have any closing words of life? TV and soda gets a bad rap, but it's great in moderation. Oh, right, yeah.